Hey, good Monday morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Hope everybody enjoyed thoroughly the sunshine and the mild temperatures that we had over the weekend. Certainly was beautiful, wasn't it? Now we have one more day of mild weather, and then we do have what actually I would call, uh, or I am calling, a valid snowstorm heading this way. You know, I always get in this debate with people. Some of the people think that it needs to be two feet of snow before we call it a snowstorm in Michigan. I think I call anything six inches or above in the heaviest band a valid snowstorm, and that is indeed what we do have on the way. So we'll get to that. We'll show you when that hits, and I'll show you how much snow is possibly on the way. Bear in mind, it's not super early far out on the snowstorm. I think it will generally start, you know, it's going to come in bits and pieces at first, but generally the brunt of the snowstorm will be Wednesday into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Hey, Lynn Terry Williams, the first person to agree with me this morning. Thank you very much. And good morning, Bill Martin, Leelanau County, Florida right now. Good morning, Steve Swanson. All right, so let's get to it. And you can see that where the snowstorm is closer in time frame, they already have winter storm watches up for parts of Iowa, northern Illinois, and around the Milwaukee area. And that is a classic path of a snow system in Michigan. And that should kind of tell you where the heaviest snow is going to be lining up. So, yeah, I would imagine that we will have uh, some sort of winter storm watch uh, coming up soon here, probably this morning after 11 o'clock. Uh, Denna McCormick, will Caseville be getting it? Yes, you will. Hang tight, and we'll show you when. All right, here's the radar. And uh, we still have plenty of day today without any precipitation. Like I said, later tonight and tomorrow morning, a inch or so could creep into southern lower Michigan that's kind of like a little broken off piece of the storm system. Here's the model that I like. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hi, Mark from Midland. Good morning, Steve Swanson. How much snow? We'll get to that here in just a moment. I want to just give you the overview first. Okay. So here is the model that has been doing best. Of course, it's the European model. I'll have some info on you later on, hopefully today, on the U.S. is putting a lot of money into its modeling, and hopefully we'll get some upgrades. So this is what I'm talking about, that first little batch of light snow uh, Tuesday afternoon. And then we go into, now we're into uh, Wednesday morning, okay? So the heavier band of snow is developing. This indicates the southern half of lower Michigan. This is the European. The GFS, I'll show you on the snow totals, is a little bit more toward the north and west by about 100 miles or so. But nonetheless, at this time out, what it's saying is there's a valid snow six inches or more in a strip across somewhere of lower Michigan. That's what I want you to get out of this right now. Here is Wednesday night. The snow is going in the eastern part of the state. The wind is blowing, and this is Thursday morning. The snow is winding down, and then maybe some wraparound lake effect kind of backs up into the northern part of the state. All right, so how much? All right, let's look at the European model first, okay? And let me see if I can explain this out for you. I don't know if I'll be able to or not, just so you could see it a little bit better. Let's give that a go, okay? All right, so we're looking at uh, the European model. Uh, Beth Kirshner, you're heading south. What are we heading for? South where and when? <laughs> That's a open-ended question that I'll fail on. Okay, so here's your European model. And again, the purple, that's a six inch plus. So I think there will be a strip that gets six inches, maybe seven, maybe eight. Okay, but we're going to go to, hey, good morning, Mayor Mary Ann Ackerman of Frankenmuth. We're going to go to this comparison, okay? So this is something that you've liked in the past when we've had a snowstorm coming. And this is the comparison between the European 
and the US model. So you're looking at the European right there, okay? Now you're looking at the US model. And you can see the US model is a couple of inches heavier and it's more to the north, a little more to the north, and it, uh, you know, it extends, I'd say, north about 100 miles. So again, go, Todd, go back and forth here for you, okay? European, heaviest band, six to eight inches through far southern lower into southeast lower. GFS, I think a little overdone. It's showing 10, 11 inches, Saginaw Valley, the thumb. I'd say that bring that down to about eight. That's what I think we're targeting a six to eight inch snow surrounding that uh, three to six inches and then tapering off from there. All right, so let's take, let's go back to the European and say that that's probably going to be closer. What I've been noticing on the European is it will come north about 50 miles to the GFS solution and it'll pretty whole much hold tight on its amounts, which, uh, seems to be reasonable. That will put the heaviest uh, Benton Harbor, St. Joe, Battle Creek, Kalamazoo, maybe Grand Rapids on the edge of the heaviest, heaviest just to the south. Grand Rapids, still time for some tweaking. Lansing, probably in the heaviest. Alma, uh, Flint, the Thumb, Oakland County, Ann Arbor, Detroit might be just out of the heaviest, but you'll still get a sizable four, five, six inches. Uh, Randy, Breedlove, no, you will not get two feet of snow. Last storms we have all panicked and nothing. That's not true at all. The last storms have been pretty much right on in the forecast, and I don't know why you're panicking about six inches. If you panic for six inches, you need to move out of Michigan because we have that about five to seven times a year. Um, yes, Sharon Douglas, do the errands today. That would be uh, a good idea. Clarkston, you know, I don't know if I want to get into the exact amounts on exact cities because it's not fine-tuned yet. I guess what I want to say is somewhere in the southern two-thirds of lower Michigan, there will be about a 50-mile wide strip of six to eight inches of snow. Surrounding that, there will be uh, a strip of three to six inches of snow and then surrounding that a one to three inch snow so it's a solid snow when uh picking up wednesday morning solidly wednesday afternoon wednesday evening ending uh early thursday morning so there you go if you can avoid travel on wednesday you'd be wise um and if you could uh, get things done today or tomorrow, you'd avoid a lot of uh, snowy weather. By the way, the extended after a cold shot for a couple of days, we have a warm surge and a rain in the same European model that's been doing good takes us well into the 50s. So this might just be uh, the just be a, a brief return back to winter. Greg Semek wants to know, can you zoom in on the Southeast? No, I don't want to because it's not the time to zoom in yet. By later today or tomorrow morning, it will be time to zoom in. The point I want you to get right now, solid snowstorm. And uh, it will have some impact on our travel from Tuesday night through Thursday morning. So, uh, Get ready for that. Uh, all right, Hillary, flying into Flint Airport, 11.15 on Tuesday. Will there be snow in Flint at that time? Now, there could be brief little previews, you know, spurts, um, an inch or so, but nothing uh, that I would say you'd have to really worry about too much. Snowball fight Wednesday, Laura Johnson, possible. The difference with this one is it looks a little bit colder for the second half of the snow. So it'll be a blow around snow again. Uh, you know, if you were to get six inches, three inches of that is going to uh, uh, blow on, blow around. What kind of snow? Heavy, wet, dry, powdery, Donna, uh, Greyer, bile, bile. <laughs> sorry. Um, it just kind of address that. Heavy at first transitioning to powdery snow. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth Tack, Caro, you're probably right solidly in some of the heaviest snow. Uh, good morning, Jerry Perez from Ohio. 
How many inches expected in Tri City? Rebecca DeBar. Tri Cities should be in should be at least three inches. I would say in the Tri Cities, maybe up to six, and the band might be heaviest in there, seven or eight. Again, we got to do some fine tuning. Point being is, it's a solid snow that you got to shovel. Again, Rob Robinson, heavy snow or light snow? Yes, both starting heavy, transitioning to blow around snow. So half and half on this one probably. Uh, Roscommon, Higgins Lake. I will be driving there from Ann Arbor. When? Today it's fine. Tomorrow, not bad. Wednesday, a slow drive. What about Rockford? Kathy Gillette. We're, you know, right now Grand Rapids sits on the north edge of the heaviest band. You'll probably definitely get three inches, but will you be the four, five, or six? We're going to have to wait another 12 to 24 hours uh, to figure that out. Brandy Fleming, Branch County, you'll probably be on the southern edge of the heaviest snow. So you're probably three, four, maybe five inches. Will travel be good in the thumb tomorrow? Carol Cass City. I don't know if I want to use the word good, but it will certainly be okay and better than Wednesday. Atlanta, Michigan. You're, hmm, you're probably in the three to six inch range, but probably not six. You're probably more toward the lower end of that uh, with all of the solutions. Harrisville, you might get a little bit, uh, a little bit of lake effect in there. So you might be in the three to five and maybe some enhancement right along the shoreline. Steve Jakubiak, Kalamazoo on Wednesday. Yeah you're probably going to be in the heart of the heaviest snow on Wednesday. Stan Hubble, how am I feeling, Mark? I'm feeling great. How are you feeling, Stan? Um, snow day, Stockbridge, you know, the timing on this would be pretty good for a snow day on Wednesday because it will be picking up toward Wednesday morning and go through the afternoon. So, yes. Uh, Wood TV8 is saying heaviest snow north of GR. Are they using a different model? They're they're probably using the GFS, which surprises me that you know maybe you heard that a little a little differently or interpreted it wrong. Um, but again, there's still some uh, movement to that band. I think the European. Let's go back to that just as a comparison here. Um, let's see. Let me get back to it for you. Okay, so here we are looking at the European. And the heaviest is just south of Grand Rapids. And then here we're looking at the GFS. And the heaviest is from Grand Rapids northward. So, again, I've found that the two are merging in the middle, which could put Grand Rapids right in the heaviest but we will have to wait. The point being right now, here's what we know. We know today will be a decent day travel and it'll be mild. Uh, we know that tomorrow we'll have little spurts. We know that Wednesday will be a snowy day into early on Thursday. And we know that it's a solid, um, I would call it, I would call it a five to eight inch snow where it's the heaviest. All right. So there you go. That's what we can give you right now. Um, I'll just, Keep giving you more as we know more. That's about the best that we can do. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Thanks for joining me on the morning MLive weather update in the next few days. You might see me a little extra, and we'll keep you updated. And there are some tweaks. You know, sometimes I feel like I give a lot of confidence, and these models won't change. They rarely have in this year after they latch on to something. But there will still be some tweaks. Maybe uh, maybe could go down an inch or two on the heaviest. Maybe could go up an inch or two. Maybe could shift about 50 miles. That's about the changes I think that we could see. Take care. Have yourselves a great Monday.